guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my sticker organization because I recently redid it, changed things up a little bit and thought it was about time that I showed you guys how I organize everything. So this is an accordion file from the container store that Sarah Plan sent to me because she knew we don't have container stores around us and it has completely changed my sticker organization game. My goal with my organization is to be able to carry all of my stickers or at least all of the in-season stickers with me wherever I go. So the goal is to keep things simple, concise, and not too cluttered. So I'm gonna go through each section and show you exactly what is in it and explain to you my organizational process. So if you guys want to do something like this or considering an accordion file system, these could be categories that you break your stickers up into. First things first, why I chose the accordion file. I've tried a couple of different methods, the clear protective sheet binders, the just cardstock with the sheets taped to the binder system, but I find that the accordion file is the easiest if you take out your stickers to show people, more or less is the main reason I use this system. Because I do plan with me's every week, it's easier to be able to remove the sheet completely, show it on camera, and then put it back. Plus, I have a lot of stickers that rotate and change, so not having them stuck in a binder is the best way for me to get the most out of my stickers. Let's get into each of the categories. I don't use all of the sections in the accordion file. I actually have quite a few blank ones in the back. So let's just dive in and I'll show you a little bit of like a sticker collection as well. So you guys get to see some of the stickers that I have. So let's do this thing. So this first front section is all of the stickers I reach for on almost a daily, but for sure weekly basis. They're what I use most regularly in my plan with me videos or the ones that I just know I like to have on hand. So in the back of this section, I always keep whatever stickers I'm using for the spread that week. So whatever color scheme I'm doing, I always keep those stickers in the back of this section. Everything else is kind of just mixed together. And I do get that it's kind of hard to find things in the accordion file, but I tend to keep them in the same spot within each pocket. Some things I use more regularly, so they're up in the front. And you just kind of develop a system to know exactly where they are so you don't forget anything. But I have a bunch of house stickers. I actually have another sheet back here. A bunch of different house stickers, some quote stickers or like um, saying stickers because I'm finishing up a sheet, but I actually use different words more often than these ones. So I have another sheet of those. I have walking stickers for when we go for a walk to track exercise, payday stickers, my Instagram reminder ones. We are doing a push up challenge soon. If you guys want to join in, there is a Facebook event in the Hello Again's group, but I have my push-up stickers ready for when June starts so we can dive right into that. More payday stickers if I'm feeling whimsical and want to use perfect papery ones. Some face emoji ones. This is a sticker sheet that I've considered putting out other places. I just find that I like having them and using them closer on hand. I also have these little like couple stickers road strips that I use almost every week, some garbage stickers, game night ones, and some Gilmore Girls ones because I have been watching that pretty regularly. And that is all I keep up in the front section. It changes, like I said, if I'm doing something in particular, I'll add stickers to the front or like when the wedding gets closer, I'll put the wedding stickers closer to the front, that sort of thing. But that's everything in the first pocket. The second pocket is where I keep all of our monthly colored stickers. So anything that I need for specific month spreads. I like to use the vertical color scheme for my hourly. So everything I have is for vertical colors. So I have the monthly kit for July, which has the little sticker cover ups as well as like an assortment of stickers. So I have July and I have June. Then I have parts of the July weekly kit, if not the whole thing. No, I think I just have parts of it. As well as this 4th of July sticker sheet because I know that I'm gonna be doing the entire July, 4th of July spread with my monthly colors. So I'm keeping it here, although it's a decorative sticker, just because I know I'll eventually use those together. And a couple of May stickers for the monthly view. I'm not gonna be using the May colors in a weekly spread, but since it's still May and I'm still using that, monthly view, I wanted to have them on hand. And then once the month is over, if I have only a couple of stickers left, I'll try to repurpose them in another spread or something. 
or I'll get rid of the sheets. You know, the next section is what I call labels and icons. It's kind of a catch-all functional section for anything that I want to keep separate from the other functional stickers because they have like icons or something on them. So I have these Stick It Co. Bills Do, a bunch of pencil and camera labels because I do a lot of videos and blog posts, so I wanna make sure I have plenty of colors available all the time. Credit card due, and then a bunch of pretty on paper icons. She gave me tons of them when she came and visited me back in the old apartment. So I have a bunch of her stuff. They're really fun and cool to add like extra little details. Some dinner labels, more filming, some cameras, and then the Bill's variety pack. So just random icons and labels. I find keeping them separate from the other functional stickers makes it just so much easier to find them. My fourth section is functional stickers, and I could really use your guys' help with this one to maybe divide it even more. So if you have any suggestions, definitely let me know. I'm thinking about separating out all the half boxes because there are quite a, quite a few in this, but let's dive right in. I have these labels from my little Chickadee Co some Love Like Rin checklists, spectacle print half boxes, glitter half boxes, a couple of Pretty on Paper Co. half boxes left, Let's Plan It half boxes, more spectacle print half boxes, banners, labels, half boxes, half boxes, labels. This is just kind of a catch-all. There's tons of stickers in here. So I would love to be able to divide this up a little bit clearer or more concise way so I can know exactly what I have. Maybe I'll do pastel versus brights or something because this thing is crazy. This next section is what I like to call functional decorative stickers. I know it's kind of an oxymoron, but these are the stickers that aren't decorative just for decorative sake. Like I use them to mark specific things or they're almost functional, but they're so cute and like with cute icons and such that they're considered decorative. So I have some canceled rescheduled stickers. One more catch up day sticker. These little Kina prints like headache stickers that I like to use to mark when I have headaches to kind of keep track of things for my doctor or whatever, like if it's becoming a routine thing, it's good to keep track of that. Then I have these Planning Roses makeup stickers, and I really like them. So they're to me more functional because they tell me to do things in the process. I have some credit card stickers from One Orange Snowflake, beds, RVs. These are a little difficult for me to place because to me, these ones definitely are more decorative, but these, are kind of like I could use functionally, but I don't know. So I kind of put these in there, not really sure what to do. I have these jars that I use to mark when I have panic attacks, more bed stickers, some little quotes that aren't really functional, but they're not like 100% decorative either, if that makes sense. Some sick days, some makeup brushes, makeup kit, packages from Spectacle Print, cameras, movie night stickers from Perfect Papery, some oh hello, just decorative stuff. I need to put this whoop sale sticker in my planning spread because the whoop sale's tomorrow, in case you guys are wondering and you're watching this the first day it goes live. We're having whoop sale Saturday, uh, the 21st, I'm pretty sure, at 10 a.m. So definitely go check that out. Some geocaching stickers, some date night. Just threw that off there. I have bucket list stickers, some little shopping hangers from Hello Petite Paper, more hangers, and then this little donut kit from Have a Parade. So it's kind of just like a catch-all of things that but still kind of have a purpose, like you use them to track things. This next section is just completely decorative for the sake of decoration. So I got cute little beer mugs, more Kina prints, like emoji stickers, these little houses, salads, game trollers, like OMG excited stickers, one orange snowflake, like a spring kit. These weird window stickers that came from a Pipstick subscription that I actually like to put in my monthly spreads as a little cute addition. Some bacon stickers that one of my littles gave me. 
decorative floral life planner washi. These are so old because her shop is station stickers now and like it's full on station stickers and I've had these forever because this was her first name. Cupcakes. More cupcakes, more like um, Mrs. Grossman type stickers. I have a couple of sheets of these Willowfield monsters because they're just so cute and I have a really hard time using them. So I need to make it a mission to at least use one of these sheets up. Coffee stickers from Perfect Papery, little typewriters from Let's Plan It. My one and only sheet of Scribble Prints Co. stickers. I never buy from Scribble Prints Co. I think it's too expensive for what it is. So I got this sheet like right when I started planning and I still haven't used it up. So there you go. Fun little fact about me. I have one orange snowflake, superheroes, Schmary Schmatter, RVs from one orange snowflake and some cupcakes. So all decorative stuff just to add a little bit of fun and extra pizzazz to a spread. This next section is a new one that I just created when I reorganized everything for this video. It's what I like to call quote half box, full box kit set thing. That's not the real name. I don't know what to call it, but this is where I put all of my quote stickers because I'm really getting into them and designing them and that sort of thing that I wanted a spot where I could put them all where I could find them. I also have these decorative boxes in here just because I probably should put them somewhere else to be honest, but. It's a really small little section that I'm sure will expand over time, but it exists now. It now exists. This next section is specifically for samplers. So if I get any thank you samplers from shops or anything that has a variety of stickers that can't go into one specific category. So I have this purple dogwood designs freebie that someone sent to me some of our gold and silver stickers. I love these kits. I'm so excited to use them this little Perfect Paper Re freebie. And I got a bunch of these Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers stickers. I have no idea where they came from, but someone sent them to me. And if that was you, I need more. I want more, tell me where you got them because I'm so excited about those. And then I have tons of samplers. Let's Plan It, a bunch of my Oh Hello ones. More Let's Plan It. Let's Plan It was the first shop I got tons of samplers from. So I got a bunch from us too. Some thank yous from Have a Parade and Half of Everything. And Dots and Dash, this one, and then some Planning Roses. I also have this sheet from the collaboration video that Planning Roses and I did together because it has some more decorative looking sampler stuff at the bottom. Another little freebie from her. More Oh Hello samplers. I have a Parade little birthday kit. One orange snowflake kit, another one, Thor, the Bob's Burgers ones, which are amazing, and some more half of everything. So if I'm ever looking for stickers to round out a spread, I tend to go to this section because I am sure to find something that'll work. We're in the home stretch now. This next section is where I keep wedding stickers. Stickers I bought specifically for my wedding or colors or themes or whatever that I wanna keep all together. So I have these Willow Field stickers and I'm not sure if she carries them anymore. So I was so panicky that I would never see them again that I bought four sheets because this is very our wedding vibes and I wanted to make sure I had them because I just find them so pretty. These rings from Perfect Papery, some little floral decorative stuff from Let's Plan It, a wedding decorative kit from One Orange Snowflake, and then these Mare Bear Designs wedding stickers that she actually put in my wedding colors, which was super nice of her. So these are all just kept together just to make sure that if I'm ever doing any wedding planning in my planner, I have everything I could need. Two more sections to go now. This one is where I keep stickers that I want to give to friends or family. So either I've used a sticker in them or they just don't work for me anymore, but there's still plenty of stickers to find some love. So I have these habit stickers from Planting Roses, some little dots from Erin Condren, these two soda and bath time stickers from Planner-esque. I had these for so long and I'm just not getting usage out of them. And these workout stickers from Perfect Papery. So I'll probably send this in a rack to one of my littles or to Natalie 
in the next week or so when I get a couple more sticker sheets and they love it. They love getting stickers and if I can't use them, might as well give them to someone else who can. This last section is my personal favorite and that's where I keep all of the kits. And so you're gonna see a little bit of a July spoiler. So if you don't wanna know what the July subscription looks like, turn away, speed ahead about a minute or two because I'm gonna be showing that right now. So this is where I keep, like I said, all my kits, including ones that I plan on doing videos in the future and stuff. So I have the July kit. I have these stickers from Perfect Papery. She has like a Star Wars kit, so I just put those all together. The Planner-esque May mystery kit. The June mystery kit. An ice cream kit from us. She also sent me a watermelon kit because Planner-esque and I, we actually send back our subs back and forth to each other as a fun little mail swap that we do. And then I have this pretty on paper kind of like birthday Aztec-y inspired kit. So there you have it, how I organize all of my stickers, their sections, and basically a sticker collection video. Stay tuned for part two of this series of sticker organization where I walk you through my out of season stickers, how I store those, that sort of thing. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you enjoyed it and you want to let me know that you liked it and enjoyed it. But that is it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.